a beautiful, cool September morning, and we are here next to Squalicum Lake visiting artist Leanne Redpath. Good morning. Good morning, Gail. It's gorgeous today, isn't it? Fall's it, on its way, though. <laughs> it sure is. This is a beautiful spot you have here. Thank you. We, we love it up here. Excellent. Come on into the studio. Okay. Most of my work starts before I get here, like I was just in Albuquerque sitting in the airport, and here's my budget car rental confirmation <laughs> and here was a bunch of ideas i came up for some new pieces of jewelry while i was uh sitting there at the airport and that's kind of how i work that's sort of where the inspiration starts and i decided earlier this week to choose one of these and i picked out the stones which is well, a, a piece of wood fossil and oh, uh, i've actually started forging some of the metal for this um, last night. So <laughs> square wire. Okay. And I take the heaviest hammer I can find. Now this is going to be loud. And if I was going to do this for a while, I put on um, my earplugs. But you can hear. And you can see that square metal starting to move. And this is getting too hard for me to to pound any more to move it. So then I move over to the torch, which is right here, and I have to anneal it. And I was annealing some other wire last night. Turn the tank on. So you change, basically are changing the temperature so you can work with it. That's right. Okay. I'm changing the molecular structure of the metal. Okay. Break Very it. good. And um, my tank is acetylene mm -hmm. and oxygen. I'm just going to heat this up. So when I started working with jewelry, it was a little, it's a little scary to me to be having this big torch in my hand. Mm -hmm. um, and and you really have to be careful. You have to know what you're doing and stay focused. Because um, just the slightest mistake. Sometimes metal can go fly. It can break apart. That's why I'm on a rubber mat here. Mm -hmm. I've been in one studio for a while that they had it carpeted. Mm. And it, actually the carpeting, I saw the carpet catch on fire one day while I was oh, there. Great. You can see this metal is now changing kind of a blue color. And that means that the uh, structure of the molecules has changed enough. So I can turn this off. And then I drop it in the copper tongs in my cool water here. You can hear it sizzle. Mm-hmm. And then I can go back to pounding it, and it will move. The metal will move much, you know, much easier now. Okay. So you maybe have to do that back and forth as you're working it. Yeah, easy. Yeah. 20, 15 times. I have a guillotine Ooh. for cutting metal. Nice. In straight lines. Okay. A bender. Most men love my love my studio here <laughs> because I've got all kinds of all kinds of tools. This is actually for bending metal. Oh wow. I have a rolling mill. That if I want to piece, uh, put a piece of fabric or uh, something etched, I can put it against the metal and actually roll it through here and imprint that on the metal. See different metals, different patterns I've done on them. Here's, mm -hmm. here's a very interesting piece right here. Oh yeah, look at that. And I actually etched that when I drew that one out. Mm-hmm. On here. And how long have you been working in metal? I've been working in metal about eight years. I welded for two years prior to that. Mm -hmm. Before that, I painted for many, many years, did um, etchings and serographs, and my degrees in art. And I was I knew at the age of nine that I was going to be an artist. Wow. I even remember the piece of art that was the turning point. What was that? It was, um, the project was to draw a marching band mm -hmm. and I did not know how to get that. I wanted the crowd as part of that and I didn't know as a child how do you do that. Mm -hmm. So I folded a piece of paper in half and on the front half I drew the marching band and cut all those figures out so they had the plumes showing and everything yeah. and I drew the crowd on the back piece and flipped it up so it was actually like a two-part piece and I knew that I thought this is very interesting I really like this and I'm going to be an artist. I was in beautiful. Um, Taos, New Mexico recently, and mm -hmm. this um, is a piece to remember my trip. It is the outline of the most photographed church 
in the United States, the wow. St. Francis Church in yeah. Taos, the old Adobe Church. Uh -huh. So often I'm inspired by different pieces, places I've been. In mm -hmm. fact, most of my work uh, has some background to it, most of my metal work. Okay, so this is your latest direction that you're going in? This is a uh, brand new work for me. It's Limoges Enamel. Limoges Enamel is taking china paints, which is a consistency of talcum powder, and mixing it with various oils. And uh, each one of these pieces of enamel has probably 10 to 15 firings wow. uh, in them. And I want to be able to incorporate my painting skills with my stones and metal um, pieces. I wanted to bring more color mm -hmm. into them. And so this is kind of a new direction for me. Um, I really enjoy it because it's just, I love to paint. Mm -hmm. And this allows me to do both, both mediums. Oh. So here's the, you can see how fine that is. Uh huh. So that's actually mixed on a palette as if I was mixing oil paints from a powder from scratch like the masters used to do. Wow. And then show us the kiln here. You see here's this the kiln. kiln. It's my little mini kiln for firing those in. So you paint and fire and paint more and fire. And paint more and, and just until I get the, the depth, the detail um, that I want, that I can with this very fine. So a piece paint. like this, which is a <clears throat> miniature painting, mm -hmm. um, would take you how about how long? Just the firing alone. This was over um, three days of firing on and off because you fire it, you got to let it cool. Okay. And so okay. then you got to paint it again, then fire it, let it cool. So I would work on this for a while, work on something else, but it was several days just on this little tiny, okay, tiny piece. Wow, fascinating. Yeah, I don't know anybody else who's doing this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mean, I've, there are people who do enamel jewelry, but this is a whole other um, this is a whole other process. Mm -hmm. Nice, nice for you to be able to incorporate so many different, yes. you know, experiences into one piece that someone could enjoy. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay Leanne. Well, I want to thank you so much for having us into your studio today, and look forward to seeing your work. Thank you.